and it's finally happening. We are here to bring you the hottest news, never before seen exclusives, and all the onset gossip from the bigger show that's about to return to your screens. Yes, it's MTV Sugar Down South. <laughs> My name is Tsukuko Oki, and helping me give you all the exclusive hot gossip from the new season of MTV Sugar Down South is none other than Bonte Murisele. Oh man, oh man, you can really feel the energy in this place, so thank you guys. And thank you for watching. I'm extremely excited for the show. We have an exclusive first-time look at the new season of MTV Sugar Down South, an incredible fire performance by Moonchild and your face from season one are chilling on the couch, waiting backstage. Everybody, please show them some love and we say hi. I want to get this party started right now. We should, eh? Yeah. Let's do it, huh? me, Tiko, and the MTV family have you covered as we build up to season two of MTV Sugar Dance Now, we've been loving all of your sugar chat on social media about what you can't wait to see in the new season. Oh, yes. Ed Idibalo wants to see Bongi become a music celeb. Is this going to happen? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to get to ask her ourselves today because she will be joining us in studio. You at home, in the meantime, can also join in the conversation and let us know what are you looking forward to seeing the most in season two of MTV Sugar Down South. Keep the conversation going at MTV Sugar DS and the official hashtag is hashtag MTV Sugar DS to keep up to date with the MTV Sugar chat. I actually just want to know if these people are going to get on stage so that we can actually find out Pila Pila, what's going to happen. I know you're excited, but before we welcome our stars, let's just catch you up with where we left off in the story. Now, at the end of season one, Reggie finally stood up to his father. Ipilen got a scholarship to university and Ubongi had to come to terms with her HIV positive status. And as for so, well, let's watch. Why don't you turn the lights out? I'm uh, bringing food from work, yeah? Lasagna? I will try. <laughs> it's just the two of us now. We know it's working these days. Do not start with me. Do you know how hard it's been? I can't come up with a 2,000 rand in 10 days. Then you must be prepared to be evicted. I managed to secure a scholarship to university for you. Oh my gosh, sir, that's incredible. We need to release some tension now and then. <laughs> and if people land can't give that to me, someone else has to. Fruit cake! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the heck, bro? If you back down now, Reggie, no one will respect you. You beat up my friend, and for what? I messed up. You did more than mess up, Q. You beat your best friend up okay. because he's gay. Okay, I get it. Sometime in life, Reggie, Melo's mad. My dad thinks this is like vandalism, a total criminal activity. Baba, I'm gay. Don't talk again, you accept, yes? Just never! I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna have your back this time. Smack the gayness out of you. <laughs> Shut up! This guy is better than all of us here put together. What do you think life is, Okay, Samo? so Ma, what am I supposed to do? Look after your child. I'm pretty much the only interesting thing around here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't here, you would have raped me. You need to grow up. Kostova, we're HIV positive. You will actually be fine. What are you doing? <laughs> They had to remove your womb to save your life. I will never have children because I trusted on Mr. Masang. <laughs> I, love I love you so I need to go. I don't want to make him upset. I found a few things that I thought would look nice on me. If I take it, will you delete the other thing? <laughs> oh, my baby. <laughs> together for the beautiful Zamo, played by Lato Alaza. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And someone who will probably 
definitely go down in history as the biggest villain ever, 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 ever played by the ever so handsome Ayanda Magai. It's so <laughs> We had a look at the recap of season one. Is there just as much drama in season sure. two? Ten times. Sure. Sure. Like it's just. Sure. Sure. Levels. Levels. Yeah. yeah. Times ten. Uh, Lagato, you played Zamo, a very young mother, yes. who's going through some things. What type of feedback did you get from uh, Zamo's storyline? As teenage mothers, you handle it differently mm. because you're still a teenager yourself and you're expected to change your mindset so quickly yeah. to become uh, an adult and mm. to become a mother. And it's so difficult for you to find that balance. Mm. So some mothers, some teenage mothers actually inboxed me and told me that I relate to that wow. because I went through that same thing and it's not that I don't love my child mm. it's just that I'm trying to accept and understand the new role that I'm given. Are there any changes in Zamo uh, in season two versus who we met in season one? You guys are gonna see a different side to Zamo. You guys are actually gonna love her. Oh. Um, she has a better relationship with her son. She's more determined to make sure that her life and her, um, and her son's life are for the better. Now, so not a lot of people liked how you turned out, okay? I've got a tweet over here. I'm gonna read this. This one is from Adlelo K who says, so I loved you. How could you? I feel so betrayed. I think the way that Saul's story was told and the fact that you kind of first fell in love with him yeah. and then he switched up yeah. kind of reflected a lot of the real situations that a lot of females find themselves in. Mm. So I think a lot of people, as much as they hated him, really resonated with the story. Now, if you're wondering if Saul has changed, let's take a look at this and decide for ourselves. Why don't you turn the lights out? You're funny. And of course, pretty. I don't know you. Mm -hmm. I get to go in. I don't know where you're from. It's so true. Get out. Put me on my mind. When? Sugar and I. Check your guys in. Really, little. Exactly. So I guess it's not your type then, right? Right! Arabian, come on, Tony. Arabian, you can stay if you want to. Okay, Seho, I'm gonna throw it to you. Let's find out directly from the audience how do they feel about songs? Well, right now I'm standing with Lebuchang, who is a big sugar fan. Lebuchang, tell me, what's your take on Saul being back in season two? I mean, in season one, Saul disappointed us all. Um, I mean, even I was convinced at first that he was a good guy who just loves... Because he's handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that too. Honestly, I think that his sense of possession and entitlement, I think it stems from his background, and I hope that we'll actually get to learn more of him in season two. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait and find out, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but, uh, but I will, I will uh, give up props on the fact that um, we do get to experience where he comes from, his background, mm -hmm. and get to understand him more. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad she brought that up, yeah. What else can we expect that may kind of maybe catch us off guard? Characters that you wouldn't have thought from the previous season mm. would have a relationship, kind of. Woo! So, yeah, man, the drama's real. Oh, it's a OK. It's always a vibe. <laughs> Things are getting heated in here, so it's time for a quick break. When we return, we're going to meet some of the new faces in the MTV Sugar Fam, including a very special celebrity groom-to-be. Can you guys guess who this is? No. Eric yeah. Oh yeah, and Moo Child will also be joining us in studio. Why don't you turn the lights out? Why don't you turn the lights out? Welcome back. Now, if you've just joined us, we're still getting all kinds of excited about the brand new season of MTV Sugar Down South. In fact, we have exclusive never seen before clips that we're gonna show you a little later on of season two of MTV Sugar Down South. Well, let's meet someone that's gonna tell us more about that. Please welcome Ms. D. Rasedile. <laughs> Obviously familiar with the entire cast, but especially this gentle brother over here. Okay, now I know how you are affiliated with him, but just let the people know how you guys are connected. 
Cool, so I play the character of Tuli, uh. and Tuli is Sol's little sister. Mm. In this season, we get to meet Sol's family and how everything he got up to affects and comes together. Mm, mm, mm. I actually wonder how that's going to turn out. In fact, can you tell us, now that we know how the community feels about Sol, how does it really affect Tuli? Because, I mean, come on, this is your brother. It's complicated. Mm, 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 <laughs> it's complicated because, I mean, Tuli's only in high school. She's still trying to make sense of everything that has happened, everything that Sol got up to in the previous season, everything that she still gets up to in this season, yeah. and you can't choose your family. It just seems like poor Tuli's just going to be going through the most because it's going to be a super dramatic season for her. But Tuli is not the only new face to the MTV Sugar Fam. There's many, many others. Take a look. Why don't you turn the lights out? My name is Mama Ruma Marakani, and I play Dineo. You know I won, right? Dineo is a smart young lady. Well, tomboy. She's from Restenburg, um, taking care of her mother and two siblings. She's an athlete. She loves basketball. She's even going all out to make sure that she stays in school. And she really wants this badly. This show is so aligned with my vision. You know, I believe in it and it just speaks to who I am. So when I got the role, I was like, God, you're just showing off, <laughs> you know? This is exactly what I dreamed of. I'm Daniel. My name is Gesson Kofi Angérique, and I play the role of Daniel Quadio for MTV Down South. Where's your head at, man? Daniel Quadio is 22, he's from Cote d'Ivoire, and he's studying in sport management at college. So he's a great guy, smiling, like have fun with friends. But with girls, he's a little bit weird sometimes. I am Mamudibe Ramudibe, and I play the character of Arabeng. Arabeng is from Lesotho. She's 13 going on to 14. Um, in the series, she's in high school, but junior, junior high school. She's an upbeat person. She's very joyous. She's full of life. She's also quite innocent, very naive. Physically, she does kind of look much more mature than her age, and that kind of attracts the wrong attention. That kind of puts her in spaces where she's not prepared to engage with. One of my values is to create work that is meaningful, that provokes, that asks questions, that also educates and engages our audiences. And I think MTV Sugar does that seamlessly. Why don't you turn the lights out? Please help us welcome to the MTV Sugar fam, Mama Rumo Marukani, who portrays Dineo and Mamudibe Ramudibe, it's who true. plays Kentani's cousin, Arabe. <laughs> You guys are officially part of the MTV Sugar Fam. How does it feel to be a part of such an incredibly huge production? Yo, my lady, I am so excited yeah. to be part of something so important. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And I hope that my character will have the same impact mm. and the connection for the people at home, yeah. like I did. Mamu Dibe, girl, you get that call. You're like, okay, you got the job. Now you're thinking of day one and getting on set. Who were you most excited to see first? To be quite honest, every single person yes. I was genuinely like, it's good, to, it's interesting to meet new people all the time. Mm. So it's genuinely interesting to see everyone mm. and meet everyone for the yeah. first time. Yeah. Okay, Mama Ruma, I'm gonna ask uh, about your storyline. Now, you play a tomboy character by the name of Dinelle, who's originally from Rustenburg, moves to Joburg, is studying, and is also sending money home to her mom and her siblings. I imagine it's quite a difficult thing to go through because it's a narrative that we're all quite familiar with. Of course. Yeah. It definitely it definitely does affect you, man. It puts so much pressure on you. You end up doing things that you didn't think you're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. so it definitely does affect us. Mm. Yeah. Now, Mami Dibi, you play Kintani's cousin who's from Nesotho, and you said that in that video clip that Arabeng is quite young and naive. Does this pass spell trouble for her? I don't want to give away too much, but mm. yes, it does. Mm. I'm going to have a word with the audience because I just want to know. Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Ayanda. Ayanda, tell me, what do you think are the dangers of a young, naive, beautiful girl and a country girl at that, moving to Jersey. It's very dangerous, especially the way Impilo Yaki at Chinjanga Kona, what Kabela senses in Debenga Melang Bauzenzilla, so Kupsongo Kakul. 
Okay, now, Arabang's cousin, that is Kensani. Yeah, she completely loathes and hates Seoul, especially after the incident that happened with Tolo, right? Do you manage to get away from Seoul, even though Kensani tried to protect you from him? A lot happens. Yeah. Um, she, in fact, you'll see a lot of facets of Arabang's character through other characters. So the relationship Ooh. she has with Kensani, the mm. relationship she has with Seoul, mm. and her best friend, Tuli. I'm gonna let you do the math. Does she manage to <laughs> get away from Seoul? <laughs> Like, I'm trying by all means to squeeze everything out of him, but it's not happening. Anyway, Tucker, what's going on? Another important character that you guys have to meet, the actor who won his part in MTV Sugar Down South Season 2 in his public auditions. You remember the auditions, right? Yeah. Check this out. Why don't you turn the my name is Malibu Mundwaba, and I play Kwane Lechezi on MTV Sugar Down South Season 2. My experience with the open editions itself was hectic because it was loud, it was crazy, but I think I was very strategic in terms of really immersing myself into the world of the character. So I had my, my headsets on right through the whole process, so I blocked out everyone. Stand by, roll camera, action. Alisa, I just miss my girlfriend, okay? Am I not allowed to? And, and like all I'm feeling from you now is just you neglecting me. Like yeah. my heart is actually yeah. racing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you like him. You like <laughs> when I landed the role, it was so important to me based on the platform itself and what the movement stands for. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Okwanele is 22 years old, living in Brum. And he's just a happy chap, you know, hustling day in and day out, living this fast-paced life in the city of Johannesburg. He has two jobs, and he's just working hard to make sure that he eats and, you know, provides for himself. You know what? That guy always makes some sales, man. Hey, hurry for him. There's something about the arts that is also um, educating as much as it's also entertainment. So it's very important in this country and big ups to MTV Show. Yeah. Thank you so much. Give it up for MTV Sugar Down South's new and sensation, Malibongwe Mdwaba. From being just a fan to being part of, of the show and obviously a star as well. Yeah. How does that make you feel? It's a blessing, um, I won't lie. And I think it's, it's, it's just genuinely about um, pushing people to go out there and chase their dreams. Yeah. So it's, it's been absolutely a great journey. Yeah. Did you have a ball on set? I think um, coming into a set where you, you really don't know a lot of people mm. um, and coming to a set where people have the same vision, mm. you know, as, as what you have. So it was, it was great in that way that we, sh we had a, a common goal, yeah. you know, which was to educate the masses about reality, you know, yeah. Okay, well, lucky for you guys, our cameras went behind the scenes to give you just a little peek into the action. Let's take a look. Why don't you turn the lights out? I think what we're trying to get across with this show is to actually go into the truth of what young people are going through as sexual beings, as social, political beings in the very complex structure of South Africa, whether that be issues of toxic masculinity, homophobia. Quiet, please. Action. I think it, it goes hand in hand with having a great colleague and great set crew. Um, everybody works together. All we have to do is just look into each other's eyes and the, and the energy is really there. It's kind of like you're feeding off each other's Absolutely. Energy. I mean, when she started crying, I started crying. I was like, wait, that's not the right thing to do. <laughs> It's very challenging because we're shooting on location and we're shooting in different people's houses and we're shooting in public spaces. We can't always control the environment that we work in. But I guess one of the upsides is that we get really beautiful locations, stuff that's authentic, that has texture, that really feels alive. So 
behind we got both my friends there. You can see that that the Tony who's playing Abel and we got who since Zenande who's playing Cynthia, so they're just doing their makeup, you know. The look that we're going for it's very simple and very natural. Action. Just let Reggie P. Just say it, Dad. Say it. It's one of those things I actually enjoy about being on Sugar, these type of scenes and getting into the real emotions and sentiments. The beauty of working with such actors is that they bring a lot more to the table, which helps me do my job more easily. The plan was to, to sort of have the camera play as one of the characters, so not overwhelm the actual scenes, just let the people exist in the space of the frame. beautiful to work with directors who really focus on getting the best performance out of you and also willing to listen to what you have to bring to the table. For me, the work is always about the truth that you're trying to give through this and it should definitely, I think, speak to people's hearts and resonate on a, on a deep level, but they'll still be entertained while they're getting that message. Don't go anywhere because we still have Moonchild coming up a little later on. Welcome back to our exclusive preview show celebrating season two of MTV Sugar Down South. Now, if you're a diehard MTV Sugar fan, you'll know that one of the series' strongest suits is how it incorporates fresh new local music into the storyline and how it uses this very same platform to introduce new music to the audience. So, would you help me welcome, please, two very, very special guests. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the one and only DJ Slick. <laughs> Kinda better known to the MTV Sugar fam as Boney. Welcome, guys. Okay, in season one, we saw a very timid and shy Boney. You know, even though she was incredibly talented with her singing ability, please tell me that in season two she's more confident and out there and really owning it. You know, she does get confident yeah. at some point. Yeah. You know? I mean, she's just discovered she's HIV positive, sure. so she's trying to to figure life out, mm. you know, and she's not so sure about her music career. Okay, now you did mention that she just learned that she's HIV positive and she was infected by DJ Cold Stove, unfortunately. Do we see Bongi take this on in season two? That's her storyline, yeah. basically. Uh, learning to live with HIV mm. for every young person out there. You've just found out that you're infected. Mm. What now? Yeah. You know, um, you, do you fear rejection mm. uh, coming out to your loved ones? You know, so that's that's what we're exploring in yeah. this season. How does a young 19-year-old mm. live life or navigate life for being HIV positive? Mm. You know, mm. yeah. Mm. DJ Slick. Injaya Muslim. No, look, man, um, your involvement in season two, right? It's not just about the music, but also uh, one of the major themes that take part in this in season two, which is about self screening. In other parts of the world, it's known as self testing. Why is this so important to you? I really feel like it's really important for you to know your own status. Knowing is, is cool because also you don't get to infect people by mistake. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Mm -hmm. Got enough. Yeah. Let's take a look at this and please pay attention because right after that, we're gonna play a game just to test your knowledge. Let's go! Yo, it's your boy DJ Slick, all the way from South Africa. I'm here today to tell you about HIV self testing, HIV self screening, as we call it here in South Africa. If you're negative, it'll be a relief to know and you can take the steps to keep yourself safe. If you're positive, you can get the medical care you need to live a long and healthy life. So sometimes people are just scared to find out or just worried about what others will say or just don't know where to get the help. Well, there's something new to help with all that. HIV self-testing or HIV self-screening. It is a fast, effective and safe way for you to learn about your HIV status. It's convenient, you control where and when you want to do it. For an oral test, you just uh, take the swab out, right? The test comes with the bottle, you place it nicely on the stand and you rub the swab on your gums. Remember, you can't just spit on it, so top, bottom. You place the swab inside the bottle and you wait 20 minutes. 
If the result is negative, great. Just make sure you retest if you may have been at the risk of infection in the last 12 weeks. Testing every three months is a good idea. If the test comes out positive, then you need to get the result confirmed at your nearest testing facility. If confirmed, then you need to start treatment as soon as possible. To find out where to get a self-testing kit, go to mtvsugar.com for more information. A big shout out to DJ Slick for that. Now, you guys joining us in studio are just in luck because you are all getting yourself your own self-screening kit. So you can see how easy it is to use. If you have any questions back at home, please do yourself a favor. Log on to mtvsugar.com and you can ask us anything about anything from violence to abuse, HIV, STIs and STDs. It's mtvsugar.com. You're going to DJ for us. You're going to do your thing. You're going to become DJ Slick. Do what for my brand new single. Are you guys looking forward to that? <laughs> Okay, well, he's gone off to go set up, so we're gonna see him play in just a little bit, and I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. In the meantime, audience, we're going to play a lovely, lovely game with you guys. We wanna see if you guys actually paid attention. Okay. So two lucky viewers from the audience stand the chance to walk away with two tickets to the premiere of the hottest show in town, MTV Sugar Down South. I'm gonna pick both of y'all right there. Come through. What? What's your name? Let's keep it here. Lebohan. Lebohan. And you all? I'm Andriel. Okay, now you two are going to be playing against each other. But because I'm such an angel and I have such a beautiful heart, I'm going to get you some help, okay? From two of our cast members. Please give a very warm welcome to the ever so gorgeous Sam Kelly Siva Makoba, who plays Kensani. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Season one, you are out there, you are yeah. back. Season two, yes. and I hear that you are taking revenge on Sol. Yes, indeed. There's a lot of tension between Sol and Kansani yeah. in this season, yeah, from yeah. the beginning through to the end. Uh -huh. So yeah, um, a lot of jam-packed action. Okay, well, you seem very calm. So I'm gonna need you to transfer that same calm energy to your teammate, just to make sure they win. Are we gonna do that? I will, I got you guys. Sorry. Come on, <laughs> come on. All right, now there's one other person I would love for you guys to meet. So everybody, please give a very warm MTV Sugar Fam welcome to another exciting new face to season two. Mohale Mudau! <laughs> I'm good, bro. Awesome. You are the new addition to MTV Sugar Down South. Fortunately. Oh, fortunately. <laughs> yeah. And your character is Udirile, right? Yes. yes. Let's talk about Udirile. How does he fit into the storyline? So, I'm not going to reveal much. Yes. Because, you know, I want to keep you guys guessing. That intrigue. <laughs> but Udirile in season two um, needs love at first sight. I know people think it's a misnomer, but actually, it's real. <laughs> Pay you guys up. So, I'm gonna need you to come this side. Baby girl, I'm gonna need you, gonna need you to come this side. There we go. So these are our teammates, and each team is going to get a paddle. So bring, yeah. bring so that over I'll here, right here, please. So Bonke is actually gonna make a statement, right? And you guys need to determine if the statement is either true or false. Okay, you see this paddle over here? You guys see this? You see this? Yeah. All right, so each side, one side has false and the other side has true. But I'm gonna swap this around. So, Mohali, you're gonna take the bow. Wow. You are going to lift the paddle wow. because you're only here to help. Yeah, that's smart. Babe, you're only here to help. That's how it's gonna go. <laughs> I need to play the game. I can't have you here. You need to move. Oh, Thank so you. So this is how it is now? Ah, oh, okay. Get right. off, this, get off, this. get off. Audience, are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's play. Question number one, true or false? If you want to get tested for HIV, you need to head to a hospital. False. False. That is correct. That is correct. So you do not need to go to a hospital. In fact, you can do a rapid test either at your local clinic or go to a local pharmacy where a nurse will assist you. Alternatively, you can do a self-screening test at home. Okay, so. That is one point. Thank you. 
Question number two, true or false? Ipiling's brother in the series, Lemo, is the youngest character in season one. Okay, Mohale? False. Your answer is correct. The youngest character is Spunky. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so one, one. Even Steven, let's move on to question number three. And it goes like this. True or false? If you want to do a self-test at home, all you need to do is spit into the bottle that comes in the kit. Is this true or false? False. That is correct. That is false. Okay, so there is no spitting when it comes to the self-screening uh, test. You get a swab and you get a bottle. So when you want to run the test, you swap around your gums and you place it in the bottle. Okay, so shout out to you. Hey, you paid attention. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. like, I like, I like. Okay, so let's see if you guys can catch up. If your self-test comes out negative, you're good. You don't need to test again. Team Mohale. Damn it. Correct, that is false. <laughs> Actually, it's a pretty good idea for you to test every three months because HIV does have a window period of three months once you've been exposed to it. Or just do the test once you feel like you are at risk. Final question. Okay, are the, are the buzzers ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> right, this is the one, this is the one, guys. True or false? If you test positive, that means you're getting AIDS. Timo Haile, I'm giving you this chance to answer this question, so answer it. True wow. or false? That is correct. <laughs> that is correct, that is correct. A positive self-screening test is not conclusive. So if your self-screening test does come back positive, that means that all you need to do is follow up and go to a healthcare facility and get a test done there. If that comes out positive, that, that simply means that it's not the end of your life, it's just HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. But if you take the necessary and proper treatment, then you can live a very long and healthy life like we see in some of the sugar characters. Okay, congratulations, guys. There we go. No, but you guys still have time to win this thing. Like you kind of still have time. You are going through to part two of possibly winning two tickets to the premiere of MTV Sugar Down South season two. Okay. <laughs> Looks like DJ Slick is ready to dance us away into the ad break. Everybody who's backstage needs to join me on stage. Come over here. Please give it up for DJ Slick. Okay. Right now we're about to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because when we come back, we have a fire performance by Moonchild and we have an exclusive look at season two. Why don't you turn the lights out? Why don't you turn the lights out? I'm sure right about now we are all just ready to just cut to the chase and see the show, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, fine, wait. Well, just to satisfy your appetite for a juicy plot and tantalizing storylines, we have an epic season two teaser coming your way. Oh, wait. Not yet, not Mr. yet. No, 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 no. We still have some unfinished business with our Sugar Fam. Mm. And when I talk about our Sugar Fam, I'm talking about our lovely audience members over here. We've got Lebohang and we've got Indrio. Now, we played part one. Lebohang took that home and she really, really killed it. And I did let Indrio know that he does have the opportunity to play again in part two, which is right now. <laughs> and I want him to win so bad. I don't have anything against you, babe. But I want to give him a chance so much that I had to get rid of the audience just so that we get that focus right because this is really, really intense. Just there that. can only be one winner, hey? <laughs> only, only one winner. This time round, we're going to ask all about prep, which is a big part of the season two storyline. Mm. <laughs> and if you at home are wondering exactly what that is, don't stress. Not in a car has your back. 
What's up, guys? It's Nadia Nakai, a.k.a. Braga, and I'm here to tell you all about PrEP. PrEP is a medicine that keeps HIV-negative people from getting HIV. It also stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. It's very, very effective if it's taken consistently as prescribed, and it reduces the risk of contracting the virus by 90%. PrEP is another form of HIV prevention, and it is only for people that are HIV negative. If you feel that you're at risk of contracting HIV, this might be the perfect thing for you. But ideally, you should still use condoms. It's a pill that you take every single day, more or less, around the same time. PrEP is extremely safe. Some people experience headaches, nausea, and tiredness, but these normally disappear within a month of taking PrEP. Visit www.myprep.co.za to locate a prep provider near you. This is Braga. Peace out. Now, in part one, each of our audience member had a little bit of help from a cast member, OK? But this time around, you are all alone, baby girl and baby boy, OK? The paddles still stay, so the rules still do apply. It is still true or false. Here we go. True or false. Prep stands for preparation prophylaxis. True. It's actually false. It stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. And it's medication taken before you are exposed to HIV to prevent you from being infected. Andrea, Ruth, do you want these tickets, bro? I don't, I want, think, I don't, does. Know. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I don't know if you want these tickets, bro. I'm getting those tickets. Okay, I don't fine. know if you want them. Okay, I'm fine. getting those tickets. OK, you've got another chance. True or false? PrEP reduces the risk of getting infected with HIV up to 50%. Yep. False. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. It's up to me. She is actually correct. This girl did well in school. I'm telling you. <laughs> she did really, really well in school. PrEP reduces the risk of getting infected by about 90%, which will really help you stay protected if you use it exactly as prescribed. In the first round, you brought your A game. And then in the second round, you Again. brought two of your AKs. Again, twice and for And just for that, man, you're getting two of those tickets to the premiere <laughs> of MTV Sugar Down South. South. But, but, yeah. but. That's a beat. <laughs> Again, I have a beautiful heart, guys. Yes, like, they need more goodness <laughs> in the world. Because I have an incredible heart. Angel, you too are also taking home two tickets to the premiere of just like that. Season two. Just like that. <laughs> no, we had to put you through your paces. We had to. No, we had to. Really, 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 really had to. Oh, yeah. All right. Now the moment has come. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. In fact, it's a moment that we really can't share between the four of us. Now, yes, I think yes, we yes. need more people You're out You're right. Here. No? You're right. Okay, so the audience needs to come back. Cuz, you need to come back. Moonchild is also going to be coming. Because, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's look. the first look of the never-before-seen action from MTV Sugar Down South Season 2. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. We're ready. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's do this. OK, roll the clip. I'm one of the good ones. Your accent. Uh, sexy, I know. You can say it. Got it. My dad doesn't really want anything to do with me. <laughs> Look, my boy, I know my ish is good, right? I'm back. People should deal with it. This is my only shot at something, ma. What you want? Or what? That was business. I'm gonna pay you back and there's nothing you can do. Hey, no! 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 There's no dark secrets. I'm afraid, ma. There's something I need to tell you. <laughs> this is for <fancy. laughs> I can't tell him I'm HIV positive, Layla. You mean like what you did with the girl who died? You know nothing about that. Epic, I don't even know if epic is the right term to describe that. Listen now, we're family, right? And you guys love me, I love you guys, so <laughs> tell us just a little more about season two, because I mean, come on, I mean, the vibe is nice. Out of words, out of words, tell us. Kilowatts. Yeah. Kilowatts. <laughs> you can already see just from that for no papa mango on stage, you know? <laughs> But, oh, man, I cannot wait. It looks like we are in for a great ride on this season of MTV Sugar Down South. Oh, yeah! <laughs>
and to celebrate this new season that's about to hit our screens, let's welcome Moon Child! <laughs> now look, it's season two of MTV Sugar Down South. You said a cow. Ah, oh, wow. Wow, oh, that's oh, amazing. Oh, oh man. This OK, is, OK. This is the character. Who's oh, on you? So clearly, <laughs> clearly you are not a fan of Seoul. But what about MTV Sugar mm. Down South do you love? I love um, the fact that it's uh, edutainment. It's mm. educating. It also speaks to the now, the people of today, yes. the people that are influencing, the people who are our future. Mm. And it's, it's, it's freaking cool. I mean, it's edutainment. It's edutainment sure. without feeling like, oh my god, now you're doing mm. the same. Or yeah. It's like in between storylines that are very interesting, which is our every day, all the time. Yeah. And it's good that um, responsibility of just like looking after yourself and taking care of yourself. Sure. And, it's great. It's like the stuff is being put in the light. The stuff that actually really happens is being put out in the light. Like the taxi driver, Tulu, the abortions in the corners. The, that's why every day. So it's great that mm. we... I remember crying when the girl walked into the car. I was just like, stop. Anyway, so it's just like, it's amazing. It's touching, it's yeah. real. Um, you're not living here if awesome. you're not touched. Mm. Just love you. Mm. So no. it's mm. very imperative mm. and it's no. very important and I love it. And shout out to Sue. That's Super. that. Thank you so Man. much for coming through. Go get ready, because I know you're going to shut things down out here. Okay, go. Thank go, you so go, much. Go, Tamai, go, Tamai, go, Tamai. Go. Tamai. <laughs> okay, so Moon Child is going to get herself ready because she is going to close the show with an incredible performance. Now I want to give some thanks. Guys, the cast, so special. Thank you so much. Give it up for the Thank you, guys. Your energy was so incredible. Thank you to our studio audience for being here. <laughs> and the show is nothing without a viewer, so thank you for watching. Please go ahead, enjoy yourself. We've been punting it this entire time. MTV Sugar Down South Season 2 is about to hit your screens. Remember to hit us up on all our socials. It's at MTV Sugar DS. The official hashtag is hashtag MTV Sugar DS to please keep us posted on what you guys think of the yeah. show. Are you guys ready for Moon Child? Yeah. Moon Child, get on the stage, yo! Let's do it, get up for Moon Child! Where my man? Where my man? Where my man? Where my man? We shall see ya, Baba. We hot, we are caught up. We tight, we right. We mame, a rumin and a porta. We mame, the head is a quarter. We mame, the lip at a liqua. We mame, and the nickel dollar. We mame, the bell and the If you have been affected by any of the issues raised in the show, send a please call me to the Love Life Contact Center on the toll-free number below, 083-323-1023-HASH. Terms and conditions apply. Go to mtvsugar.com for more information. Mommy, what are you cooking? Why don't you turn the lights out?